What's up guys, Tech James here. In this video I will be showing you guys how to install DOSBox and basically launch EXE games um, on your PSP. Now keep in mind this is a bit glitchy. I have tested a few games on this already. Some of them um, run into errors, some of them get stuck on a black screen, um, some of them have like massive lag issues and there's so many different games online that you can just type up. You can literally just type in DOSBox games and download some um, but some of them are just incredibly glitchy. And not all of them work with the PSP. Obviously, keep in mind this is a PSP, so obviously it's not going to run games the best in the first place. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. But there is lots of different types of apps you can run. You can run copies of Microsoft Windows, like Windows 95. You can run old like DOSBox games. It's actually pretty cool. So let's get this installed. Let's go over to the settings. Let's go up to USB connection. Let's then press the X button. And let's connect it to our computer via the USB at the top. And then we can get DOSBox installed. So in the description of this video, I will link the DOSBox Navigator. Um, this actually includes the Navigator as well as the original DOSBox. So it's kind of like two apps in one. This is the latest one I could find from 2016. I don't think they've made a newer one, or if they have, this one should be fine anyway. So if you guys would like to get it, all you have to do is just click on the green Download Now button, and it's going to download the DOSBox zip file. Now the setup for this is a bit strange, and it doesn't exactly tell you how to do it um, on this website, so I will be showing you guys how to do that right now so go to your downloads folder and find your download i also got a game in here so let me just switch it to large icon so you guys can see now the game i got is just called demo.zip i believe the game in here is called fight and this is a game which runs on dosbox now i literally just typed in dosbox games and got this um it's a demo so it's completely free it's like freeware um but yeah i don't really know what this game is but i guess we're going to find out in this video and then of course we've got the emulator which we just downloaded so what you want to do with the emulator is get the zip file, right click it and just select extract here. Wait for it to extract, it should only take a few seconds. Then we're going to get our demo game, we're going to right click it and we're just going to click extract the demo. If you guys don't have um, any kind of game, you can literally find them on Google in about 5 seconds. Literally just type in DOSBox games. But what we're going to do, we're going to go inside the emulator folder, we need to go inside of MS Root, we need to go inside of PSP and game. And what we're going to do from here is get this folder, right click it, go down to rename and you just want to type in DOSBox, all lowercase, just like that, and press enter. If you left it how it was, and um, with the, you know, the default installation, it's just not going to work. And I don't know why they didn't say that, but there you go. Um, so what we're going to do from here is select these two files, and we're going to drag and drop them on the root of our PSP. Literally just on the root, um, on the USB drive, wait for it to copy across. And um, when it's done, we should actually be able to copy across our game. Now make sure game is inside of a file folder, and it should have an exe in here and it should also have like a data folder and stuff like that i believe the data folder is right here so there you go dot that they should have a dot that folder and um, if they're the correct kind of game setup so what we're going to do is get our game and we're going to put this inside of dosbox dos core and then we're going to put it inside of exclamation mark and games literally just drag it and drop it into there and then that is literally it i know the setup for this is a bit weird and i'm um, getting the game files is a bit weird but you can literally just search google as long as they're in exe and they've got a data folder it should actually launch up on dosbox Okay, so we are back from my computer. Let's just close down this and let's scroll over and let's go onto the memory stick. So if we press X, all we've got to do from here is scroll down and look for DOSBox. So let's just go ahead and find it. Should be somewhere on here. And this looks like it. It should have that icon. And let's just press X to go and launch DOSBox up. Okay, so just wait for DOSBox to load. It shouldn't really take too long, maybe only a few seconds. But once it finishes loading the main menu just like this, what you want to do is actually double tap right. This is basically like right mouse click. If you double tap that, it should actually open up a menu for you. And this menu right here is the kind of like easy to use DOSBox menu. I know it looks a bit confusing, but it is quite simple when I show you guys how to do it. It's kind of like a file explorer. Um, so what you do is you hold the um, joystick and that is going going to be your mouse so you can see that little square just going around the screen that is actually my mouse cursor and if you double click and um, right click it's basically like right mouse click button so what we're going to do is we're going to go into um 
games so double click on that we're then going to go into our demo game so let's go on to that and then what we can do is actually launch up our exe file so um, fight.exe should be a game um, sometimes you might run an exe and it will crash um, just try one of them in the games folder and it should work normally it's not the setup so it's normally the game.exe and that's the same with windows it'd be called windows 95.exe or whatever we're going to do um, double click right and we're going to see if it loads up. To be honest, I haven't tested this game yet. The first game I tried was World of Warcraft, and it loaded, but I was unable to play it. Um, I did try another game that I was able to play, but it was just so rubbish. It was like a really basic kind of like, I don't think it was an official game. I think someone made it. It was kind of like a snake ripoff. But we're going to try this one. Um, hasn't given me any errors so far, so I assume it's loading. Um, you might actually have to wait maybe two to three minutes. I know that sounds like quite a long time, um, but these games are quite hard to load. And DOSBox for the PSP, not really the best PSP emulator because it's pretty much unusable, um, but maybe some people found some cool stuff you can do with it. I don't know, um, but this is pretty much how you install it and just launch up applications. And as you guys can see, it seems to have loaded the game, and the game is called FX Fighters. I guess this is like a Windows 98 game? Windows 95 game I don't know I think it's kind of like Mortal Kombat um, but obviously not Mortal Kombat so it's like one of those Tekken fighting style games now I'm kind of curious to see does this actually load or oh look at that frame rate a nice two frames per second there on the loading screen I'm I'm really doubting this is actually gonna work but we can try um, so what you want to do on the home screen is just press start you might have to press it twice to close down the DOSBox menu um, we're going to try and start it anyway and then okay so we've got a character selection I guess we can just choose this rock guy um, so do we have to wait or can we just press start I don't know but I'm going to try and get into a game anyway okay so I pressed start and I guess it's loading a game I hope I can play this actually because um, quite a few games on DOSBox especially on the PSP on the PC don't really have a problem obviously you've got a full keyboard and a mouse and stuff uh, but when you're using the PSP um, it can actually be um, a bit of a mess but I guess we can try and load up this game I honestly wish you could plug in a keyboard via the USB port at the top that would be really funny okay it actually looks like it's working now so this would be quite interesting but yeah as I said try this if you want it's more just for fun I wouldn't like try it you know to try and play a game um, I'd probably just play it on the PC but on the PSP it's definitely interesting to test out um, so what the hell are we actually gonna oh no I think to be honest it looks like it's running at 2 FPS and it looks like it's glitching like really really bad so yeah this is DOSBox on the PSP not really recommended to like play it but if you're curious to see how it works I know a lot of people can use Windows 95 so maybe that's worth a video I don't know I'd probably do another video on that um, but yeah games um, they're, not, they're not exactly that great as you can see like this game it's just got so many kind of errors with it I don't even think I'm able to like play any gameplay which is kind of sad in a way but there you go but one thing I have noticed is um, this guy is actually getting hits on me because my health is actually going down. Um, but if you guys want to exit out of DOSBox, it's very simple. You just press the home button and it will actually let you go and quit the game. So there you go, guys. That is DOSBox on the PSP. Would I recommend it? Um, if you want to play games, maybe not. If you want to test some apps, maybe you want to try and run Chocolate Doom or some like Mystery Windows 95 EXE game, yeah, go for it. It might be quite interesting. But to be honest, it's a lot better on the computer because you're just not going to get as much errors. And um, as I, if I was to boot this game up on the PC, it would probably actually work. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more PSP content. I don't know anyone else that still uploads PSP videos. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.